Hey everybody, this is Chad from Sticks Blog. So today I want to do a video and talk about this. Uh, last June uh, 2014, my wife bought this for me for my birthday. Um, it's a Montbell Downhugger 800 number 3. Uh, and as of 2014, they kind of changed a few things up uh, as far as what it was compared to the previous year's versions. Now I want to say that I have wanted one of these um, ever since I first started backpacking. Uh, the first decent bag I wanted to buy was the old uh, number two bag. It was the old yellow bag ready to 25 degrees. However, by the time I got around being able to afford uh, to buy a better bag, uh, those weren't made anymore. I went on about my business. Um, but anyway, last year my wife went ahead and picked this up. I'm super excited. The problem was is in June uh, here in the southeast temperatures are out the roof so there was no uh, there was no chance of me even using the bag for quite a while uh, the first time I actually got to use the bag I did bring it with me one night in late July uh, I used it at the bunkhouse at the NOC that way I wouldn't have to unpack my pack uh, but I used it that night um, since then I've used it uh, three nights when I did uh, it was past October I hiked from 441 in the Smokies to Max Patch I uh, stayed in shelters all three nights on that trip. I used it for three nights on a trip um, back in March of this year. Uh, I hiked from, sorry I'm trying to recall the places, but I hiked from uh, Carver's Gap to Dennis Cove Road. I uh, stayed in shelters two nights that time and uh, in my tent one night that time. Uh, and then I used it another night uh, the very last hike I did. I can't remember where that is now. It escapes me. Uh, but anyway, whatever the last hike was, uh, I used it on that hike. Um, and I actually, um, oh, it's from Iron Mountain Gap to Irwin, Tennessee. Uh, and I used it in uh, under the dual mid, not in the internet tent or anything, just under the dual mid as a tarp. Um, but anyway, I've used it eight times in the field. I've also used it three different times here in my front yard, just kind of testing out, playing with it. Uh, other than that, I've used it, I say used, I've, I've laid inside and inside uh, watching TV, just kind of laying in the floor and hanging out with it. I've slept overnight, most of the night, one night in it. Um, so, altogether, I've got probably 12 full nights in this bag so far. Uh, so, I wanted to go ahead and take the time to do a video and kind of discuss some of the things or how I feel about the bag so far. Uh, and if you watched my last video on the Xped Simac UL7 pad, um, what I did is I just made a, uh, a note list, uh, kind of pros, cons, uh, some notes, um, and I'm just going to go through those and kind of discuss the bag itself. Um, first off, I want to say that uh, this is obviously in the cotton stuff sack that it comes with, uh, the Montbell bags. Um, they come with cotton stuff sacks and they also come with a... Um, with a storage sack or a stuff sack to use on the trail. Never use this, uh, probably never will. I just leave it in the bottom of the bag. Now, of course, when I'm at home, I store it in the cotton bag. Also, this bag retails at $339. Uh, and let me clarify, when I say my wife got it for me, technically I bought it. She just kind of gave me the money for it as my birthday gift. But I bought it from Pro Light Gear at one of their sales. I think it was 20, 25% off. So I paid around 270, 280 bucks for the bag. Um, I, I was happy about that price. Um, as far as the, the bag itself, I'll just kind of pull it out here and show you. And this is, uh, this is the, the first thing that you notice about this bag as compared to older versions is the color. Uh, this is kind of a bright green, whereas the older versions were kind of like a, a teal color, something sort of like that. Um, but this one is more of a bright green, a, a grass green or whatever. Um, as far as the bag itself, the shell is made from a 20 denier ballistic air, well, I think they call it a ballistic ripstop nylon is what they call it, Montbell does. Um, so it's actually a pretty tough, durable fabric, and I like that, to be quite honest with you. Uh, just simply because, uh, not for its durability per se, but uh, for the heavier, uh, slightly heavier weight material, uh, combined with their DWR, which in this case is their standard DWR, um, it's not that Polkatec DWR that they use, uh, but I have contacted them asking about the differences and they say they're pretty much the same thing. Uh, I think the Polkatec is something that's kind of more, uh, 
infused kind of maybe I don't know I'm not going to get into all that but they they speak highly of their standard DWR uh, but anyway what I have noticed is that because of the heavier weight material um, and the DWR it's on it this bag the shell does a really good job at resisting moisture I don't think a lot of moisture is actually being uh, absorbed into the bag uh, whether I rub my foot against a, a wet wall or if moisture from my breath is all over the, the, uh, the neck area here. I don't think that moisture has been an issue uh, and I really like that as far as the shell is concerned. So for that, that point of reference for me, I like the material, I like the DWR on this bag uh, and that's a really big selling point for me. I, I just happen to like it. Here in the southeast it's, it's really humid. Uh, a lot of rain, it's kind of wet, so a good shale uh, is a good idea for me, uh, and I think that this shale uh, does a great job. As far as what it's got inside, it's got 11 ounces of 800 downfill, and um, kind of looking at some other, well, I'm not going to get into that, but 11 ounces is pretty much kind of run of the mill, 11 to 12 ounces is pretty much run of the mill for most 30 degree rated bags. Um, so it's got the appropriate feel. One thing about the down uh, Montvale bags, a lot of people complain about that they'll have baffles that are underfilled. Um, holding this one up to the light and stuff, it seems like it's pretty well filled to me. Uh, I don't think I have any issues with, with the feel on it. I think it's adequately filled for what it is. Um, like I said, it is a 30 degree temperature rating. Uh, it is EN rated and uh, the EN rating for a male is 31 degrees. Uh, in my experience, over the eight nights that I used it out in the field, uh, temperatures about 31, 32 degrees was the lowest that they got uh, as far as actual temperatures, and I'm not sure about wind chill. Um, and then I used it all the way up into the mid 50s. Um, I was, as far as this keeping me warm every night, I never had any problems. There was one night that I had a little bit of coolness going on. However, I think it was because of the pad that I was using. I don't think the pad that I was using underneath. Uh, was keeping me warm that night because the, the coolness felt like it was coming from up underneath me. So um, I don't think that uh, I don't think it's the pad. I think for me this is actually a truly rated 30 degree bag. Uh, so far in my experience, that's what it's proved to be. Um, so anyway, like I said, it's got 11 ounces, 800 downfill. Uh, I'm kind of getting ahead of myself. A couple of other specs that I wanted to talk about. Well, I'm gonna wait and get into that. So, uh, I already broke into it. Under the pros, I have that it's a pretty accurate rating bag for me, and I've just kind of discussed that. Um, also, I discussed that the shell has good water resistance, and like I said, that's something else that uh, works good for me. Also, something else uh, that I do like about it is the zipper. Uh, the zipper does a pretty good job at not snagging. Now, that doesn't mean that it never snags, but um, it's probably got something to do. There's a little snag there. But it's probably got something to do with the uh, with the heavier weight material. Well, I'm getting eat up by mosquitoes out here. Um, but anyway, uh, the zipper the zipper works pretty well. I'm happy with the zipper. It could be better, sure, um, but also it could be a lot worse. And uh, for what it is, I'm really happy with it. Uh, that's one of the pros for me. Um, the hood is also something else that I, I actually like. Um, the hood is nice and stuffed. It's got plenty of feel around it, at least, you know, uh, compared to the rest of the bag, it's about equivalent down feel around the hood. Um, but when I cinch it up, it does a really good job at, uh, at uh, it's hard to explain. It just does a good job at kind of sealing around my face. Now, one thing about the hood, and it's listed in the cons, I'm gonna go ahead and jump around. But one thing about the hood is uh, the cord, is actually cord um, and whenever I've cinched this thing kind of tight I can feel it I can feel that cord right here on my chin now I do wish that this was an elastic cord instead of just a regular nylon cord or whatever polyester cord or whatever this cord is made from uh, but I wish it was kind of shock cord that way there was a little bit of give right there and it didn't feel quite so tight uh, however one thing I do is whenever I cinch it down tight I don't just cinch it uh, just haphazardly. I kind of pull on the top cord so that it cinches around the top part of my face more than it does the bottom part and that kind of relieves some of the uh, the the pressure I guess I could say right there on top of my chin. 
but as far as the hood overall, um, I'm really happy with the hood. Uh, you know, could be a little bit better, but for the bag and for the temperature rating, it's only for 30 degrees. I think it does a great job at what it does. I really like that. Um, the only con that I really have about this bag is the way that it's sewn. And what I mean by that is typically on bags, they're either horizontal or they're vertical. Uh, but this is sewn on a diagonal. And when I'm laying in the bag, uh, since this is a 30 degree bag, sometimes I don't wear long pants or down pants or anything like that. Uh, I'll just have a pair of shorts or my underwear on and I can feel um, this diagonal sewn line rubbing on me. And if I'm laying on my side and those diagonal lines are kind of coming across whichever way, it just feels weird. It feels like the bag is kind of twisted around me. Uh, I don't get that with the, my other sleeping bags, which uh, they're only horizontal. I don't have any vertically sewn uh, baffled bags. Uh, my only other bags are horizontal. Uh, but I never have noticed that. But with this one, when I turn over on my side and I kind of got my, my legs kicked up, I can feel those diagonal baffles and they just feel weird. I just feel like I'm twisted up. So that's one thing that is a con for me. Um, I know that they have reason as far as why they sew this in a diagonal uh, angle. But I don't know. It's it's not, it does kind of make it a little bit uncomfortable, sort of. Um, but once I fall asleep, I don't really notice it. It's more so when I first get in the bag and I'm trying to get comfortable is when I notice it there. Um, a couple of notes. That's, that's pretty much my pros and my cons. A couple of notes that I feel like worth mentioning that's not necessarily pros or cons. And I've kind of even, um, well, no, I, yeah, I kind of touched on, uh, one, the elastic cord. I do wish that was different. I thought about trying to change it myself. I don't think I'm gonna do that, uh, but I do wish it was an elastic cord. Another thing uh, is the weight of this bag. Uh, the weight's listed at one pound, eight ounces or 24 ounces. Uh, the measured weight on my scales at home is 24.2 ounces. So it's actually pretty close to spec. I can't, I can't complain about that. It's only 0.2 ounces heavier than what it is. Um, so, I wish it was just a little bit lighter. Uh, I know the previous year's versions were a little bit lighter. I can't remember right off the top of my head if they used less amount of down. Uh, but anyway, it would be nice for a 30 degree bag if it was rated just a little bit, li or if it had a little bit less weight to it. But, you know, a lot of that weight's coming from the heavier shell, uh, from the two-way zipper. It does have a two-way zipper on it, although I never use the two-way zipper. Um, but those things add up. So overall, I'm kind of okay with the weight. Uh, I'm comparing it to also to a quilt that I use that is uh, about the same temperature rating and it weighs 18 ounces. So, you know, that there is six ounces less than what this is. But this is a full, you know, fully featured sleeping bag. So I got to kind of take it for what it is. Um, another thing, the overall length. Um, a couple of years ago, the, the regular, this is a size regular, but the regular length bags were only good for users up to five foot ten. And a few years ago, they kind of got with the program and started making their regular length bags uh, be good for users up to six feet tall. So I am five foot ten inches. When I lay in this bag, of course, when you lay down, just because I'm five ten, that doesn't mean I'm five ten laying down. When I lay down, my feet tend to to fall just a little bit, and I guess I just kind of lengthen out just a little bit because I'm laying down. I don't know, but to me, five foot ten, I am like right at the edge of the, uh, the 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 length of this bag. I can feel the top of my head pressing in on the hood almost, and I can feel my toes pressing in uh, the foot box. And uh, I honestly think that if I was one inch uh, taller, it wouldn't work for me. So I think that I think the length is overly stated. I don't think it's actually good for a user up to six foot. At least in my opinion, if I was six foot. I think I will be a little bit confined in this sleeping bag, and I would want to go with the long version, which of course would add more weight. But like I said, I just barely fit in it, so you know it is what it is. Um, but I think they kind of uh, kind of stretch it just a little bit on the length. And one other note that I want to talk about, and the whole thing that I wanted this bag was the stretch. Um, the shoulder girth on this is listed at 59 inches whenever it's relaxed like it is now and then when it's stretched out it's 75 inches. Now you can see I'm not stretching this, I'm just holding it out. That's the stretch. 
I'm sorry, folks, but that is not what 16. That's not 16 inches of stretch there. In my opinion, the stretch feature of this bag is total and complete height. It does stretch. These diagonal lines are sewn with elastic uh, thread, so there is a little bit of stretch to it. Now, it might be able to stretch sideways a little bit, but it, when I read this, the specs on this at 59 inches, I was thinking when I'm laying there, this bag is going to hug me, which is going to be great for you know thermal value. It's, uh, it's going to keep me warm. There's not going to be any dead air space. It's, it's going to hug me, and it's going to be awesome, and it's going to be great. But if I need to move around, it'll stretch with me. It's not the way it is. Um, I have not personally measured this, so I can't tell you what it is. All I can tell you is that I have plenty of room, or, or I have adequate amount of room for me to lay inside this bag and move around. Uh, and then if it starts getting cool, it doesn't cinch up around me. I have to kind of cinch up this, this hood here, and that's what's going to keep the air from escaping. Um, but like I said, in my opinion, the height, I mean, the stretch feature on this is just 100% height. Uh, I don't think it's, you know, worth, if you're looking at two different bags and you think, oh, well, that one stretches, I don't think that should be the deciding factor. Um, that's just my opinion. Uh, and with this bag, I'm telling you, we don't do it. So, but anyway, the Mott Bell Down Hugger 800 number 3, 2014 model. Um, I do like it. It's a good bag. I think I'm going to use it a lot for when I'm going out on hikes. I'm expecting temperatures to be uh, around 30-ish to about 50-ish. I think that this is probably going to be my go-to bag. Uh, like I said, it works for me, um, and I, I like what it is. Uh, I'm glad to have it, excited to have it. Um, it could be a little better. It could be a lot worse. Um, but anyway, so that's it. So, if you have any comments or questions about this bag, just uh, feel free to post them below and I'll do my best to answer or reply. And uh, guys, I appreciate you watching. See you next time.